Hi, my name is Terry. I'm the saxophone specialist here at Buckeye Brass and Winds, and today I'm going to spend some time going through the new P. Marriott 185 alto saxophone. We spent a lot of time here at Buckeye looking for products that we believe in and that we trust for our customers, and in this case, uh, for our rentals and for your students. Um, this being the P. Marriott 185 alto, uh, part of that process for me as a technician was to completely disassembling the instrument. Uh, inspecting everything inside and out from the key materials, the screws, the pads, the body itself, um, how it's assembled, and making sure that it, the integrity is something that I can trust. And most everything that I found uh, was very good on this instrument. Uh, it's something that I'm very happy with, and I'm pleased that we are keeping these around. Um, so one of the things that I found was that the key work itself is very robust. Um, which you, you know just as well as anybody that in a school band setting um, it is not terribly difficult for damage to happen even just in passing or in, in daily use. Um, I feel like this instrument will hold up better than some others that are out there right now. Um, just the, the quality of the materials, the way that they're built, um, it is structurally very solid um, and that is something that is very important um, for your classroom and for your student success. Um, the quality of the materials, you know, the pads and the key materials that are used for regulation and uh, adjustments, um, they're installed well, they're good quality, uh, so you're not going to find as much the key materials falling off after a few months or uh, things adjusting in weird ways that's not going to make it play well. Um, it's, it's done well, and you can tell that this company spent a lot of time and energy to make sure that it's a, a good lasting product that you can rely on. Um, and in the short time that we've had these, uh, it's, that is definitely something I believe in, and I, I see that in this instrument. Um, there are a couple things that I would change as a technician. Um, you know, there are not, there's not a lot of glue behind the pads, uh, so the way that they're installed, um, and that glue really helps us to adjust them easier. Um, it also gives the pad a little bit more support over time. Um, and it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's something that can be adjusted on my end. Um, and it really just makes things more time consuming for me to make sure that the horn is set up well and working well. And through its, its service life, um, it just takes a little bit more time for me. Um, but that being said, the pads are of good quality. Um, and the few that I did have to adjust going out of the box, um, it really didn't take too long. And um, they're good enough quality that it's something that I would still trust and uh, I can rely on that. Um, the other part of that being that the tone holes do have a little bit of a burr on the outside, which can lead to a little bit more sticking and later on maybe some torn pads. Uh, but that's easy to address as it comes in if that becomes an issue. Um, it's not terribly uncommon uh, with most manufacturers these days. Would have been nice to see different, but that being said, overall the build quality of the horn is good enough that I think that those very minor things um, aren't significant enough to warrant not using the instrument. Um, uh, the build quality, the quality of the materials, and most, most importantly the quality of the sound. Uh, it's a very easy horn to play and it sounds good. It has a very deep core sound to it um, and that was, um, I've tested this next to some other instruments of similar quality um, and some pretty big name brands and this one held up very well. It sounds good. Uh, the intonation I found was even across registers. The timbre and tone was even um, and it, it's easy to play. Um, and the nice part about this too is that the stock mouthpiece that comes in the case with this instrument is a Van Doren AL3, which most people see as a solid step-up mouthpiece. Um, so right out the gate, your students are going to be starting with a good product um, with good materials to help them start and sound good from day one. Um, and if if it's not something we believe in or trust, then it's not something we would try to put in your hands. Um, so going through this process helped me see a lot more that this is something that I trust. Um, I like how it plays. I like how it's built. And it's something that I would like to keep around. So um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to me. And uh, I'd be happy to answer anything that I can. Um, but otherwise, I would love for as many people to play it and see what you think for yourself.